From the tiny apartment he used to live in during the 1990s to Romanov palaces, the leader of the largest country on earth, Vladimir Putin, has quite a few properties to stay at. Perhaps the most controversial of these is his alleged $1 billion palace. Following the arrest of opposition figure Alexei Navalny, his anti-corruption foundation FBK has released a video and investigation about this estate built for the Russian president, the most secret and well-guarded place in Russia. And finally, we have some details. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Vladimir Putin is a Russian politician and former intelligence officer who's been the president of Russia since 2012, previously being in the office from 1999 until 2008. He was also prime minister of Russia a couple of times, once in 1999 and again in 2008. He was born in Leningrad, which is now St. Petersburg, and studied law at Leningrad State University, graduating in 1975. Putin worked as a KGB foreign intelligence officer for 16 years, even rising to the rank of lieutenant colonel before resigning in 1991. It was then he began his political career. Putin is currently the second longest serving European head of state, and during his first term, the Russian economy grew for eight years. This was a result of the price of oil and gas increasing, which is the majority of the country's exports, as well as factors like recovering from the post-communist depression and a rise in foreign investment. However, under Putin's leadership, Leadership, experts don't really consider Russia a democratic country, pointing out jails of political opponents, lack of fair elections, and more. Human rights organizations have even accused Putin of persecuting political critics and activists, as well as ordering them tortured or assassinated. Whatever your thoughts are on President Vladimir Putin has many luxury properties to stay at. This one palace seems to be the most interesting, as it's the most secretive and well-guarded facility in all of Russia without exaggeration. It has quite a few names, like Putin's Palace, Dacha Putin, Putin's Country Palace, and it's a large Italian villa-style complex located on the Black Sea coast in Galenjik, Russia. Many have claimed this palace was built for the personal use of President Putin, even though this was dismissed by his spokesman in 2010. Construction began during Putin's first presidency, and detailed claims about the project said they were improperly using state resources. Those who were aware of what was going on wanted to investigate the corruption, and high quality photos of the palace and grounds were released by WikiLeaks, which also showed the fancy interiors. The Russian government has consistently dismissed Putin's connections to the property, but over the years, documents and information have been leaked. Now the most recent uncoverings about the palace itself are from Alex Navalny and his team, the FBK, and follow Alex's arrest. Maybe a form of revenge you could say, but either way, this time there is actual footage of the top secret palace. It isn't a country house or cottage, not even a mansion, it's the size of a village or a kingdom. It has secure fences, its own port, security, a church, its own permit system, a no-fly zone, and even its own border checkpoint. This video claims that it spans over 190,000 square feet, and the FBK says the palace costs a whopping $1.35 billion to construct. Drone footage shows that there is a new construction going on, there's a large pool but it's covered, and there are workers around the building. Apparently the place got hit by mold and now they have to completely renovate the billion dollar estate again. There is also a huge greenhouse on the grounds which has trees and plants constantly monitored by about 40 gardeners on site. We can then see the large church on the property, a giant 80 meter bridge, and a couple of helipads. He even has a hockey rink and underground hockey complex. In this two hour video, Navalny and his team share these images of the buildings, exteriors, and floor plans, a task that was supposed to be impossible, but now Putin's biggest secret is being shown to the world. An important contractor who was involved in the construction of Putin's palace shared many details because the over-the-top nature and spending on the place enraged him. Inside the estate, it's just as you might expect, full of gold, marble, and lavish details in the Louis XIV style. Floor plans show there is everything in Putin's palace, like a beauty salon and a large spa of some sort, complete with plunge tubs and bathing bowls. There's an indoor pool and apparently something called an aqua discotheque. I don't know what that is, but Alex says it's something like a fountain where you can sit and order drinks from the bar. On the ground floor, there is a home gym with interesting rooms nearby, like a music lounge and a reading room. In this video, they were able to compare the interior photos leaked years ago to the floor plans to find out the furniture and decoration that Putin's palace is decked out in. We can see that small dining room with a bunch of cream-colored 
tables and chairs. And the furniture on the floor plans is named Citerio Atena, which is a super exclusive Italian supplier. It was proven to be a match. Other items in the residence reportedly came from another Italian supplier who casually posted photos of Putin's palace interiors on their website. We can see some of the exact pieces Putin has as well with their crazy price tags, like this leather sofa that costs over 27k and a dressing table at the same price. Knowing the floor plans and furniture that Putin bought, Alex and his team decided to 3D recreate the palace interiors, true to the original design. And it's just as good as the real thing. You walk from the courtyard into a great room with pillars, high ceilings, ornate chandeliers, and golden eagles everywhere in the design. Then you can head to a chic marble foyer with large bar. This cocktail lounge leads you to the giant home theater, which consists of a two-story auditorium and three boxes below that can be covered with velvet curtains. If this isn't enough, Putin even has a personal casino complete with card tables and a roulette wheel. Which leads to the games room with billiards table and a dance machine area, an activity that the president is said to love. The rest of the space is filled with slot machines. Moving to the upper level, there's Putin's private retreat. Before entering the bedroom, there's a luxury living room with sofas and armchairs, and in his actual sleeping space, it looks like it's built for a king. Of course, he also has a huge walk-in wardrobe and private bathroom with jacuzzi tubs surrounded by marble columns. The property also has dozens of outbuildings with room for staff as well as structures for meat and fish workshops, a bakery, a man-made pond, and more. Over the vineyards, there's even another large chateau or secondary house. After seeing all of this, thanks to the work of Alex Navalny and the FBK, the public can finally get a real idea of what's going on in Vladimir Putin's $1 billion palace. I think with that 3D tour, the estate is exactly what one might expect, over the top and luxury interiors as well as every amenity you'd need. Even the ones that you don't, like an aqua discotheque or whatever that is. Putin has a long list of residences aside from this crazy kingdom, so if you guys are interested in a part 2 of his house tour, let me know and we can cover more of his properties. What did you think about his $1 billion palace? If you could pick your favorite room or feature of this state, what would it be? I think I like the cocktail lounge in the theater best or maybe the massive pond. Be sure to let me know down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in, don't gram, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!